All right, Cancer viewers, I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, what they're wanting with you. Um, I know the last reading we did, there was a lot of back and forth energy and they were trying to move on from the karmic. Either It was either somebody who already moved on from the karmic, um, but they just were still kind of messed up over it and, and just you know, kind of mentally, emotionally not fully there because of it, or it's somebody who is still with the karmic and they're they're trying to get out of that right now. But it was a lot of kind of back and forth energy. It's like they couldn't fully give their heart to you quite yet. Um, but they're wanting to, you know, that, that energy is there, that desire is there. They're just, you know, really damaged and really in their head right now. So um, let's see where they're at now. Let's see what's going on with your love life. All right, cancer viewers. Cancers that are watching this video, what is going on with your love life? What updates do you have? What is going on with your love life? Okay. Queen of Wands. The moon. Three of wands. Two of cups. Hmm. So a lot of passionate, fiery kind of energy in this reading. A lot of a lot of emotions coming out. Six of Pentacles, the wheel, and the six of wands. So I kind of feel like I'm intuitively reading this card. You know, I always read this. Whenever I see this, I always see somebody. I always, like, look, like, I usually see this as, like, the karmic partner or somebody who's just creating a block. Do you see this energy? It's, like, somebody who's very harsh. And I think he sees you as the queen of wands. He sees you as somebody who's confident and seductive and charming and charismatic and um, beautiful and loving, you know, he sees you as a very powerful, elegant woman, but it's like with the moon here, he's trying to look forward to you, you see this, do you see this energy, this two of cups, you see how she, like this energy is trying to look here, and there's this block right in the way, it's like the moon, that's like mystery, and like romance, and like intuition, I always see this as intuition, and it's kind of like he's trying to look over and see you. He's trying to present this love offer. He's trying to get in this two of cups, you know, love energy, like a peaceful, stable soulmate relationship. But the three of wands is still blocking. Like this karmic or this energy, this heartbreak that he suffered, um, you know, it's going to be different for everybody, but it's like the same group, that same energy. For some of you, it's like he went through a divorce. For others, it's like he's still with the karmic. For some of you, um... He might have just gotten, you know, maybe they just broke up not too long ago, but he's not fully over it. It's like there's just some damage there. Um, I mean, he might not be over this person, but for a lot of you, I think it's just like it's just damaged. It's just like he put so much into this and it just didn't work out. And for some, there might be some like just like the drama and the chaos and everything they went through with this karmic is still kind of damaging them. Like it's still they have a lot of trust issues and doubts and hesitation because of what this, whatever this person put them through, this person from the past, the recent or distant past, the, uh, whatever this person put them through, it's still affecting them. It's still hurting them. It's still kind of traumatized them in some level. Um, but they're trying to be more intuitive. They're trying to get through this block, but it's like, yeah, this, this is kind of blocking you guys right now. This, this energy, this person is kind of blocking you guys from having the two of cups, having that love offer, having that stability. But I think they bring themselves out of it because with the Six of Pentacles, that's like, it's like abundance and it's like, it's, I feel like it's like kind of about finances. It's like this financial stability or it's like you're just, they might just see you as like a generous, loving person, like somebody who can help them, somebody who wants to like help support them or somebody who help, wants to help um like you're just more balanced you know what I mean like they just feel that energy like you just you feel more balanced and more stable to them with the wheel here like with this energy right here I kind of feel like they're bringing themselves out of this cycle where it's like not so much I mean they, I think they do care and they do have that support but I almost feel like they kind of go on like this journey where they just find themselves again and reclaim themselves 
And so it's almost like with the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands here, it could talk about like a new job or a new career or just public recognition or just something that happens that makes them feel more confident and more prideful and successful. Something that kind of brings back the self-love that they lost and it kind of shifts their direction, shifts their focus onto themselves and onto their um, whatever it is that makes them happy more or whatever makes them feel successful and confident. Um, it's like an energy shift. So with the wheel here, I kind of feel like that that this energy is ending. Not not you guys necessarily, but just the um, the the self pity and the heartbreak and the the trust issues, all of that. There 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 something happens that's going to shift them out of that energy and make them focus on themselves and on their success more. So they're going to be starting to finally leave that, leave that heartbreak behind. Um, and, and yeah, they're just going to be very focused on themselves, though. I do still see you in the picture, but they're they're kind of, they, they kind of have a process that they have to go through right now, you know? It might be a while for them before they feel like they can really open themselves up to love again. I kind of feel like they might go through a phase um, where they just really want to uh, focus on themselves and bettering themselves, and they don't really want to give themselves to anybody quite yet. Um, so it could be a wait with this person, you know, you might want to just hold space for them, but also see what your other options are, see what else is out there, like be there for them. But the energy I got from that reading was there was like, there was love there, but I got a lot of focus for them on like themselves and bettering themselves and financial stability and career and hobbies and, and the things that they love, um, and the things that make them confident, and they kind of almost want to distract themselves right now, it kind of seems like. So they, they have a process that they have to go through before they're going to be ready to date anybody, um, is what I feel from this. But let's see what else the cards have to say about it. Um, what do I want to ask? What else do you need to know about your love life? I guess I'll just ask that. What else do you need to know about your love life right now? What else do you need to know about your love life? High Priestess of Fire, Differences, hmm, High Priestess of Spirit, interesting, it could refer to fire and air signs for some of you, Confidence, Meditation, Hope, and Lust, okay. Okay, so intuitively, you should know if this is your reading or not. Like, you should know. There should be something here that really resonates that lets you know it's your reading. Um, because it's kind of very specific energy right now is, is what I'm getting for, for some of you. Uh, I feel like the passion is there with the High Priestess of Fire. Like this, And again, this could be a fire or an air sign with, with both these here. Um, kind of feel like you guys are in two different pages. Like, I do think that there's a connection here that's kind of legit, but I, I just, I don't think they're ready, unfortunately, from the energy I get for this particular group. It's like, the, there's that passion, there's that, um, you know, the emotion, and then there's like, this is like more intuitive and spiritual, and um, just feels like very stable, confusing energy, because I keep looking at these cards, and it's like, usually it comes to me more easily, but it's very confusing with this person. I feel like they're very confused. You know, on one hand, they do want to be happy, but I just don't think that they know how to love right now. Like, looking at these cards and that song, I'm just a sucker for pain, it just popped in my head. Um... It's like, like an addiction to, like, drama and pain. You know, see, like, with the High Priestess of Fire and then the Differences card and the High Priest of Spirit, it's like there's just this lack of balance. Just feels like two people are not fully on the same page. It's like, I just keep looking at the Differences card. It's like there's some, like, unbalanced energy here in this reading. Or it's like a passionate, like, lusty, like, 
you know, relationship, but there's, like, the lack of, like, spirit, the lack of, like, intuition and, like, more depth and um, spirituality kind of, you know what I mean? There's just, there's some sort of just imbalance here, but I do feel like they're kind of feel like they're ignoring their intuition a lot, but I feel like they're starting to get more intuitive, like with the confidence and the meditation card. I do feel like you are helping them like telepathically, like you're sending them healing energy and it's making them feel more confident. Like your, your good wishes for them is, is because you, you know that they're not very stable and I think that you want the best for them. I think you want them to be more stable. You want them to be able to accept love into their lives. Um, and they just don't seem to be like the kind of people that like, can accept love like they seem like they sabotage everything in their lives like they doubt love when they have it they don't they don't realize what they have till they lost it it's that kind of energy but I think that your your good intentions and your prayers or your, your energy or whatever it is is helping them find more of a balance and helping them be confident in themselves again um, and, and getting them into this like meditative state where they're, they're starting to be more intuitive like they question their intuition but they're starting to get more intuitive and they are hopeful with you. Like, they are hopeful about this connection. Um, you know, like, they do. It's like they're just so guarded and they're so damaged and they're so fearful. And that, unfortunately, that fearful energy is, is much stronger than anything else. Like, that, that, at least with this current energy, and this could change, but at this present time with what I'm feeling, if this is your reading, you know, and even though they do have hope and they do want love, um, they don't know how to accept love. They don't know how to be loved. They don't know how to love people back right now. They're still very damaged from their ex um, or from like past people. Like it could be like past friends or family members too, but there's just like this past energy that it's most likely an ex that, that's damaged them quite a bit. And they haven't really moved on from that. I mean, they might be over the person, but they might not be over the situation, you know? Like, they might not be over that energy of, like, all they went through for that person and, like, what they had to survive, you know? Um, they're still just very damaged by it, and they're very distrusting. Um, and so, yeah, there's this little part of them. Like, you see the good in them. Like, you see the core in them. Um, and so there's that hope there, you know? But you have to you have to also take into account how they're behaving on a day-to-day -day basis, what they're doing and not doing, what they're saying and not saying on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, don't just look at the core and, and see the good person, the good, loving, empathetic person that they were before all the damage, like, don't just look at that, really be honest with yourself and also look at how they're treating you on a daily basis and what they're doing on a daily basis, you know what I mean, like, take the entire picture into it, into account and then make the decision, are you getting enough love in this relationship? Are they emotionally available with you? Is this worth it to you? Do you want this? Do you really want this? Like, be honest with yourself. Ask, stop and ask yourself those questions. Don't just, don't get into this pattern or this, with this person of trying to break their walls down and trying to get them to be the person they could be or the person they once were. You know what I mean? Like, don't get yourself in one of those situations where you're just constantly trying to break this person's walls down and constantly trying to convince them and reassure them that you love them and that you're there and they're just taking it for granted. Like, make sure you're not getting yourself into that situation. Um, it's like, yes, they do have hope and they do want love, but again, they're just, they're not, um, they don't know how to open to it. They really don't, even though they are trying to be more, more meditative and more intuitive. Um, and so they're, they're going to go through a phase they, I, they might come back to you eventually, I don't know, but, it, but at least right now they're going through a phase that includes lust. So this is either telling you, this is either telling you that they might just, you know, if they just broke up with the karmic, they might go through a phase where they're just kind of messing around with different people um, and that they have to get it out of their system and that they're just kind of kind of be self-destructive for a while. They're just going to kind of be in this like lusty stage for a while. Um where they're not really committing to anything or anyone. They're just like, just kind of messing around, but not letting it get too deep, not letting it get too vulnerable. Cause this group, like they're really focused on themselves. Like they're really trying not to open their hearts to love. Cause they're trying to like, like with like career or business or like hobbies or things that they love. They're kind of like trying to focus on themselves more and put themselves first 
and they don't really want to open their hearts and like get hurt again because like they know that they're not ready to love again they know that they're not ready for another relationship right now um and it's kind of like it's like healthy but unhealthy at the same time because they're out of balance you know what i mean like people need love like we're vulnerable we all need love um but it's kind of like I mean, on one hand, it's good that they're getting out of that karmic energy and they're not just staying heartbroken and, st and staying messed up oh, and, and, and in that victim energy of, you know, this person did this and blah, 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 and, and just kind of like, just like this depressed, sad victim kind of energy. Like, it's good they're moving out of that energy, but at the same time, it's almost like they're moving into another self-sabotaging energy. They're moving into this other energy where they're they're focusing on themselves and their career and on the things they love, but it's like they're out of balance. It's like they're, it's like running on empty. It's like they're going, 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 and they just can't like just stop because if they stop, it's all going to come crashing down on them. So they're like just trying to distract themselves, but they're trying to distract themselves all the time, and it's like exhausting for them almost, you know? So it's like, yeah, it's kind of good that they're focusing on themselves and they're getting out of that energy and letting the karmic go finally. But at the same time, it's like they're coming into this other cycle where it's just, yeah, it's just, oh, it's a complicated group. They're just, they're just so guarded. They're just, they're so guarded right now. Um, and it's like, yeah, working on themselves, it's, it's good, but it's like, it's a distraction and they're not balancing. They're not opening up to love. It's like, they're just focusing on themselves and nothing else. And it's almost like to a selfish degree, you know what I mean? So with this lust card, I kind of feel like it's almost saying like they might go through a phase if they're still kind of heartbroken or still messed up or just damaged, whatever, however it plays out. They might go through a phase where they're just kind of sleeping around with different people um, but won't be ready to actually commit for quite a while. And for others of you, I feel like it's saying like they might come around, but like they might feel the energy you're sending them and it might bring them back around to you like this meditation this hope like it's like they might feel it but they might come back around and it might just be like lust with you guys you know what i mean like it might not be quite what you want it to be it might just be like you might have some good sex um you know but i don't think that they're going to open up their hearts to you you know what I mean it's it's like they they're it's just like lust it, it's like a short-term relationship if anything or just like sleeping around basically like like sleeping with each other but it's like not stable and they're kind of in and out for a while like because yeah they're they're the energy I get from this reading this person is really just honestly not ready at all to open their heart and it might be a while it, it really might be a while so you need to start and you should really stop and think if this is worth it to you because the energy I feel is that they're just maybe it'll change in a couple weeks you know we'll, we'll check back up but the energy I feel is is just that they're 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 just not open to love right now unfortunately um, I do feel like you might have someone new coming in, though. I kind of feel like with this person, you might get tired of waiting for them. I think you're going to hold space for them for a while. Um, I think that they might be in and out, but I think that you're going to get tired of waiting for them. And I do see somebody who is more stable and committed coming in. And I think that you're going to kind of be slowly moving on from this person and this other person is going to come in and that's going to be better for you. So I'm hoping in the next, you know, within the next two, three weeks or so or however long it takes that I can channel this new person instead because I feel that energy around you. I don't know if they've actually come in yet, but I just feel like it's close. Like someone's, I think it's probably going to be somebody else. Um, that's just what I get though. So yeah, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, you know, please, if this resonates, then please go ahead and subscribe to me. Thank you guys for watching.